All right, so you on iOS 9.3.3, but you don't know what to do. You're jailbroken, you're on 9.3.3, everything is going okay. But then now you're seeing iOS 10.2 jailbreak coming soon, and you don't know what to do. You kind of like put into a corner, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys what exactly you should do. Now, in my opinion, I was on iOS 9.3.3 for a minute, and I decided to update to iOS 10.2. So I'm going to go into general, I'm going to about you guys can see i'm on 10.2 right there and reason being why i will update and, and risk your jailbreak and lose it all right lose your jailbreak go back to stock ios 10.2 is because either way you're gonna get a jailbreak for ios 10.2 either way no matter how you're looking at it um yes you're not gonna have it right now but if you're patient enough you're gonna get it either way and not only that you're getting the ios 10 features so you have you know the today view the new notification bubbles you know you get all the new features all the bells and whistles of ios 10 the iMessage games like i've been missing out man ios 10 been out for a minute and i was just the only one being jailbroken but i can't play no games with no one on iMessage uh i have the new emojis here like i, I I had to update eventually I had to man and I got this iPad already came with iOS 10 already so it would just make sense to update the iPhone to have them both on iOS 10 and I just why not I just updated to um, iOS 10.2 so 10.2 right now is a guaranteed jailbreak so whatever you are right now if you're on your iPhone 6 running iOS 9.3.3 jailbroken, I highly recommend you update it to iOS 10 and just look at the animations. Look how fast that is. That's one thing I love about iOS 10. Like the animations is much more fluid than iOS 9. Um, things load up a lot faster. But one thing I do hate about iOS 10 is the music app. I hate this music app compared to iOS 9. I love it on iOS 9 because look, look how bold everything is. I just don't like it. I really don't like it. Everything is just big for no reason. Like, um, look like my grandmother's phone. Like, all the numbers and all the words, it just looks big for no reason. And I'm, I'm a type of dude to like have everything small, not too small where you can't see it, but small enough where it can fit on the screen. And um, iOS 10, the music app, is just like everything is just blown up for no reason. And I don't ever have bold settings on. Yes, I gotta renew my Apple Music. Keep in mind, guys, you might be good now, whoever is jailbroken on iOS 9, but you gotta also look at the other side too. Because let's say a jailbreak release for iOS 10.2, but Apple cancels or they close the window, um, the signing window for iOS 10.2. You're gonna be screwed because it's gonna be a long time that you're gonna see another iOS 10 jailbreak because Apple is pushing out these updates um, very, very quickly. Um, to patch it up and make their software secure so if you want to jailbreak if you want to jailbreak inside be like me update these devices right now before apple closed the window um, i'm gonna show you guys how to update it real quick now very very simple once you go into the site i throw a link in the description um, ipsw.me you just select your device right let's say i don't know iphone iphone 6 plus and then now it's gonna tell you which one is signed and which one is not signed. So if it's green, you can be able to downgrade it or upgrade it. Um, in this case, you wanna be able to downgrade to 10.2. That's the safest way if you want that jailbreak. Not 10.2.1, don't update to this. If you, if you want a jailbreak, update to this. Now, if it's on red, then you can't do it, it's too late. So I think this is the best way of doing things. And once you download that IPSW, you want to launch up iTunes. And once you launch up iTunes, you connect. Obviously, you got to connect your, your iPhone or whatever device you have to your computer. And whatever you do, guys, do not, do not, do not click update and install. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Because Apple is really um, secure on iOS and we don't want that. So now once you get to the screen here, all you gotta do is um, you hold option if you're on the Mac or shift if you're on Windows. And what I did was I just went on restore. Now, I think I heard what I'm saying. People are saying like update is a little buggy. Make sure you disable find my iPhone. And once you do that process correctly, you should be able to downgrade to iOS 10.2. So yeah, so that's what I recommend. Lose your jailbreak, it's okay. But if you're patient enough, 
I'm not fiending for a jailbreak. Like I said, I love a jailbreak, but the way our iOS is going right now, I love the way our iOS is going because one, you have night shift now. I used to jailbreak, on, like back in iOS 6, I used to install a tweet called Flux in iOS 7, you know, but now since iOS have it now, it's I don't need it. Um, and on the iPad, you have swipe selection. You have a bunch of things that, uh, the, that iOS have already, but I still need my jailbreak so I can supercharge my Instagram, my Snapchat. I want to supercharge those apps, um, and I, I just like that, man. I definitely do like that. And I like the freedom of jailbreaking. You know, you can do anything you want that you can possibly think of, and that's one thing I like about jailbreaking. So yeah, so hopefully you guys find this video beneficial. If you guys did, appreciate it with a thumbs up, share, and all of that, man. I know I've been a little bit random on the videos, but that's okay, man. I, I told you guys, this, this is going to be a random channel. It's going to be all kinds of stuff at once. You might have a jailbreak tweak video tomorrow. You might see a challenge video. You might see a vlog, album review. That's what this channel is all about. So hopefully you guys have a great day, and I catch you guys on my next video.